Okay, so there is half of the, uh, the trailer from Harbor Freight. So I'm just using these, uh, these beams that I've got here as a, as a makeshift table so I don't have to bend over. Had a little bit of a trouble this morning because I didn't have the bolts. It didn't have the bolts in the box. Uh, luckily enough, Dave up at Harbor Freight, thanks Dave, uh, Dave took the time to go in the back room and sure enough, he found the bolts. So uh, it's going together pretty smoothly, really. You know, Harbor Freight is not famous for good instructions, but these are pretty simple to follow. There's not a lot of different size bolts, that sort of thing. Um, so all in all, uh, so far, so good. Okay, so one minor hiccup that I will uh, show you just in case uh, you're going to put one of these together for yourself and you get bolt happy like I did and, uh, and you miss something. So I was just going along and I just ran a long bolt through here, put the nut right there, and bobbed your uncle. The problem is, is that it's actually this that goes in there so that you know, you can, you can actually detach that and fold it down, right? You can pull this pin out and then you can essentially fold that A-frame down. So make sure you put this right here. Okay, so I've looked it over and I think this portion of it is done. What you've got, uh, you've got these angle, this, this A-frame here, these are two pieces, then another piece there, here, a bottom, then the square, so that's three pieces, and then these little two by four holders, right? So uh, all in all, went pretty well. Like I said, I, I screwed up right here and had to pull those out and put the pins in. Um, but that's it. I'm going to uh, pull this one off the makeshift bench and start on the back side of it. Okay, so both, uh, both ends, front and back, are assembled now, and then they just simply hinge together. And I'm out here, as you can see, in the middle of the woods by myself. And uh, so rather than fight this, I found very quickly that if you just take it and stand it up, um, and, and it's very simple to just maneuver them into position, put the bolt in, uh, you know, hand tighten the nut, and now I'll go back through and tighten everything up. So we're ready for action. Trailer is assembled. Tractor's hooked up. I just put it on the, uh, the three-point. I'll actually take that three-point off there. And then I have a, a hitch right here to attach to. I'll pop one of those off, put it on there. So I'm not using the three-point for anything at the moment. But the trailer went uh, together okay. I didn't bother with the lights. It's not, uh, this thing's never leaving the property. I, uh... I don't know. I mean, it's it's DOT rated. Uh, I'm not taking that thing on the road. First of all, it's it's lighter than shit. Uh, it would it it would bounce all over the damn place. Um, second of all, the bearings are garbage. But you know, for around here, you know, 50 yards at a time, no problem. Works out perfectly. You know, beats the crap out of a thousand dollars for a trailer. And if I if I absolutely destroy that thing I don't care so I'm gonna clean up and uh, head on home but that's it took uh, probably took I don't know let's call it two hours or so and so you know if you're not familiar with this thing it uh, has hinges right here and right there and this thing will actually fold up on itself it's got very simple leaf springs on it a couple U bolts uh, the bolts are all about the same. Um, you know, as far as the, the size, there are a couple of long ones. So, you know, when you're putting stuff together and it's got like, you know, 18 different size bolts and you got to sit there and try to figure it out. That's not the case here. So, my uh, my giant fire pit right here. Um, so, it was, it was real simple to put together. It was just no big deal at all. 